So I'd like to talk a little bit about the next generation iPhone. And it's going to be announced later this year. And there are so many possibilities that it may call the iPhone 7S, iPhone 8, or iPhone 10, iPhone X, iPhone Edition. We currently don't know which name Apple is going to use. But it will be pretty a revolutionary devices because it's 10 years anniversary for the iPhone. The iPhone was first announced in the year 2007 and now it's year 2017. So there should be a big upgrade on the iPhone. So from the iPhone 6 to the 6S to the 7, there's not like a huge upgrade. The design doesn't change a lot. Just move the antenna band line to the top, to the bottom. These kind of minor changes, some performance improvement and some speakers, some minor improvements, not like a huge revolutionary change from the beginning. But the 10 year anniversary, the Apple won't just upgrade the performance. It will be a redesign of the iPhone for sure. Especially after the CNC announced the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus, the competition is getting tougher. The Apple need to work hard to make sure that they catch on the trend. So here's my wish list on what should be on the next generation iPhone. So the first thing I really want is a beautiful infinite display. The beautiful infinite display is just immersive, so beautiful, without no bezels. It will be amazing. I really want an infinite display because I love watching YouTube video. I love playing games. So I really want a display that is super awesome, super beautiful, and super big, huge. And I really wanted the iPhone 8 or next generation iPhone to have an OLED display. And this is pretty much a confirmed rumors because the Apple has already let Samsung gonna produce and provide the OLED displays for them for next generation iPhone. So this is pretty much a confirmed rumor already. And I really wanted to have a USC USB C port because the new MacBook. Like I have a new MacBook Pro here, it's using USB-C and I think the lightning is just a little bit weird because there's so many ports, there's like 3.5mm headphone jack, there's like USB-C, your lightning port, it's just too much port. I want it to be simple, to be easy, like just USB-C port. And of course we believe the future is USB-C and every technology device is going to be using the USB-C very soon in the next few years. So iPhone next generation iPhone need to have a USB-C port instead of a lightning port. So the next big thing I really want is... Um, I don't know. I wanted to have an improvement on the water resistant level. Because the current is water resistant IP67, maybe they would do an IP68 on the next generation iPhone. I mean, there's not like a huge difference between IP67 and IP68, but the CSN got the IP68 water resistant rating, so I think iPhone should definitely catch up on that. So, because Toronto is raining and snowing pretty much all the winter, it's actually snowing today. Today is like April, so a water resistant phone is really, really going to be awesome when you want to use it in a snowing day or a raining day. So I definitely want iPhone to improve on the water resistant level. And I'm not quite worried about performance because Apple's you know, killing it and nailed it every year. The A9 is the fastest chip at that time. The A10 Fusion chip is the fastest in our t current time period. And of course, the Apple will make a A11 Fusion chip for the next iPhone. And it's going to be awesome. Pretty sure about that. So. Apple is pretty good at making great chips on improving the performance, so I'm not actually worried about the performance issue on the new iPhone. The next big thing I really want an improvement on is probably the camera. I really want to adjust a better camera every time, every year. So the dual camera systems on the iPhone 7 Plus works really, really great. I wanted to improve on that, and maybe because I wanted like adding more different interesting and fun mode instead of just a portrait mode. There's, there should be a lot of mode that's easy and fun. So Apple just improving on camera. I mean, you, the Apples already definitely have one of the best cameras in the, on the planet, on the cell phone market, but I really want, want a better camera on a cell phone because I truly believe that the future we will use camera on the smartphone instead of using like a DSLR camera 
because that is super heavy and very inconvenient to carry while a smartphone is just going to be awesome photographer equipment great great equipment for making real photography so I really want a better camera on the new iPhone and of course I really want a much bigger battery life I mean the battery life on the iPhone 7 Plus is already very very awesome but I just want a better battery life a battery that lasts longer and yeah I think uh, definitely the Apple is doing a fantastic job on the battery life management for the iOS system it just you know perfectly matching with each other the iOS and this hardware just perfectly matching each other but yeah I still want a better battery life that can last at least one and a half day because currently right now I have to charge my iPhone pretty much every day at every night I want it to be like last for two days so that would be really awesome and the next big things I really want on the iPhone is a probably a really brand new design I mean uh, I do love the design of the iPhone 7 especially the matte black especially the jet black and the product red version is really stunning beautiful but I really want it to be more beautiful better more good looking more special so that would truly stand out in among all the smartphones. The next probably big thing is I want a new home button. I want it to be building right into the screen and has a great, great, great haptic feedback. And that would be awesome. So if you want to build an infinite display, you pretty much have to integrate the home buttons into this display. And the technology is pretty okay. Right now you see how Samsung did it. Did put the home button right into the display with a tap the feedback. I think Apple should definitely follow that and put like the fingerprint sensors and the home button right built into the display. So due to some technology issues that Samsung put their fingerprint sensor still at the back at a very weird position just beside a camera, that is super, super not good. I think Apple should definitely integrate it, the fingerprint sensor technology right to the home buttons that built into the display and that will be awesome. And yeah, that is pretty much everything I want for the iPhone 8 or the next generation iPhone. I hope Apple is going to do an amazing job on that because you know how Samsung did at the beginning of the year on a few days ago for the Galaxy S8 S8 Plus. It's definitely a very stunning, amazing smartphone. So Apple, you need to work on, on your next iPhone because if you doesn't make it great, if you just do some minor upgrade and minor improvement, you're pretty much out of the game, out of the smartphone competition. So work hard. I always believe Apple, as they're probably one of the most innovative companies around the in the world. Yeah, so definitely, we should see a better, better iPhone. And I really believe that it will be stunning, beautiful, and amazing. So that's it for today. And by the way, today is like April the 7th. It's almost the summer. But come on, it's still snowing in Toronto today. So Toronto weather is not good. Super windy, super snowy, rainy all day yesterday. So that is not good weather. Yeah, so that's it for this video. I hope everyone have a great, great weekend. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye.